the winner, though, there can only be one, is Peter Dixon. With the ripple effect. Um, I'm a little specialist. Thank you to Sport Australia. It's, um, it's a huge honour for us and our little team. I want to get Nathan to speak because the main person behind this whole program was Nathan Lovett Murray, who, I don't know, a couple of years ago now, three years ago, and said, Peter, I want, want us to tell this story about racism. And I, to be honest, was a little bit reticent to take it on because clearly I'm not Indigenous and I thought it was probably too big for me to take on but Nathan was adamant and kept at me and at me and we took it on and basically all I did was tell his story and tell everyone else's story and that's what I think was my responsibility as a documentary maker and to see this award is, is really it's amazing. Um, but I'd like to get Nathan to talk. Before I do that I I'd like to thank my team, Joe Stuckey, Mel Mullen, my wife Ness is here. Um, there were so many others who contributed. This St Kilda Football Club who backed the project in. Um, but most of all, to you, mate. Um, love my time with you and I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, thanks, Pete. Um, you know, like our connection was... He, he made a documentary about my great-grandfather, Pastor Sir Doug Nichols, and um, I remember he, he rang me up and wanted me to you know, be in a documentary, and I remember I was you know, going through some things at the time, and I was like, nah, look, I can't be in it, and, you know, and, and I sort of regret not being in that doco, and then you know, I started working at St Kilda Football Club, and you know, I met the great man, Nicky Wimmer, and, um, you know, and through my time at Essendon Football Club, Michael Long, and you know, Nicky had this remarkable story, and I just wanted to you know, get his story out there, and other Indigenous and multicultural athletes that have been through racism and how it impacted on their mental health and I guess also sharing my story. And, you know, I, this, this was, you know, one of the best filmmakers in the country, Peter Dixon, and, you know, I just wanted him to, to make this film. And, you know, I had an idea, just wanted a, a 10, 15-minute film. And he's like, nah, look, we're doing a 45-minute film. It's going on Channel 7. It's going to be after the Dreamtime game. And, you know, this was three years before it happened. And it all happened. Everything that he said that he was going to do, he, he made it happen. And, you know, it was just a remarkable, um, I guess, time, you know, going through it and, and being able to make this doco. And, and after the doco, we've, we've been able to develop a, a schools program where, uh, the Point Be Proud program, where we take the doco into schools and, and you know, we want to educate the next generation of young people and, and stamp out racism, and that's the whole point of it. So, you know, we're, we're doing that now. And, you know, a couple of days ago, we had the Danny Frawley Mental Health um, Building um, launch and, you know, the, the Point Be Proud program, the ripple effects all being... Um, you know, uh, housed in that, that building. So it's, it's all coming together and it's been three years in the making and, you know, I'm just so proud and so honoured to, to be a part of, uh, of this journey and, you know, thanks to Pete and, and his team at Dixon Films for making this happen. Thank you.